Hi everyone, welcome to a new week. Uh, new manager for Gate.io. Um, at the moment, you know, obviously the network everywhere in Greece is overloaded and everyone is home due to lockdown. Uh, so if uh, at some point my my app crashes, I'm sorry for that. You know, or if the connection is a little bit laggy, um, I'm sorry for that too. But we're just going to keep on going and we're going to keep it uh, keep it live. There's not super much to announce at the moment. Um, BTC is going still going sideways in the sense that it obviously made some huge moves, but it's keeping like a sideways trend. And um, general developments in the, the entire industry aren't huge on a relative scale. What I mean is there's not um, really bad, really big uh, events happening, you know, really big negative events happening. They're not uh, hugely bull events happening besides the ones that have already taken place recently. Mm. But yeah, generally it's like um, a period to reflect and to do lots of research and uh, you know to see what's what's cool, what's not. Obviously, there are a lot of uh, DeFi projects popping up uh, at the moment, which might have been in development already, but which are now um, uh, finalizing their you know their uh, their their latest developments to be listed. Um, there are very many variations of, of DeFi projects. Uh, general rule is obviously do your own research at all times. You know, it doesn't matter uh, who says what, it doesn't matter if you're like a big exchange or a big thought leader or uh, Vitalik uh, himself, you know, um, always do some due, di due, gil due diligence and do your own uh, research in regards to what you're uh, analyzing, purchasing, trading, you know, and whatnot. Um, so no huge news there, just some um, USDT perpetual contract trading competition on Gate.io. There is a lucky winner, 1000 GT. We have announced that already, re released a video. So congrats to the winner there for the, the person who won that. Um, we've adjusted max maximum leverage for some perpetual contracts. We, we listed above. 300 tokens so um i can't you know mention all of them i would mention you know i'd recommend go over to gate.io head over to perpetual contracts and then, then just see if you're a trader which tokens uh you're interested in and you can see where the the, uh, the leverage stops um btc obviously i say obviously because that's uh, the, the most well known and uh, the biggest the you know the king of all tokens the king of all coins um has 100x leverage uh, and many altcoins have up to 20x leverage so that's going to be a gem we've made some really cool developments on gate chain um gate chain november 2020 yeah if you're into tech you know and you're really into your technical stuff and you have a good idea of um what a blockchain is and, and what it takes to build one what it takes to maintain one and what its possibilities are and you find that interesting, um, head over to gate.io, the announcements, check it out and uh, read what you can uh, do and see with, with gate chain and what the, what the, you know, the developments are for the future. Um, we're going to support the Z coin rebranding to Firo, Firo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but there's obviously going to be a hard fork upgrade. Um, and a ticker will change from XZC, uh, to Firo, F I R O. On December 8th which is tomorrow um, during that process we will take deposits and withdrawals and trading offline uh, to make sure everything's stable then do the um, uh, the migration or the change of the ticker it's not it's not even a migration but we're just gonna do a, a ticker change and once that's been realized and actualized we're going to uh, enable deposits and the withdrawals and trading of uh, FIRA um, so yeah Staking F2.0 is obviously a very, very, very hot thing at the moment. Um, F2.0 deposit contract now holds over 900,000 ETH. Um, and following the Ethereum's B launch on December 1st last week, um, new consensus mechanism is live. We're providing a flexible F2.0 staking solution, which means that, well, first of all, you don't have to stake 32 ETH. And second of all, uh, you won't be subject to any form of staking penalties because you, know, you, uh, uh, you have an unstable network uh, situation or, or whatnot. Um, but yeah, in, in general, um, it's, it's a great option if you don't have the ability the, the, or the technical capabilities to, to be a you know, validator or to stake because it's, 
you need some technical know-how and um, for many people that will go beyond what they understand on a technological level uh, to partake in, in uh, staking. We offer a lot of staking projects, uh, st staking products, sorry, uh, where you can earn anything up from up to uh, 9% to crazy um, floating interests of 180%. Obviously, that really depends on the token and there's some risk involved in the sense that there's no guarantee of such high percentage. It's just the, um, it offers the option that you might be able to get such an interest. Uh, it all depends on how much there's being staked, how much, how the coin is doing, how the project is doing itself, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we've upgraded from REP, which is the ticker for Augur, uh, to REP version two. Um, and the trading is going to start. So uh, Augur is upgraded to Augur V2, and we've all also upgraded to this new version and continue to support uh, REP Augur in the, the new version trading in the USDT market. Um, there was a callable bull bear um, contract simulating trading uh, competition, which was for participants you know, who know what they're doing when it comes to trading uh, and who find that really interesting. It's, um, it's a very technical financial term, a CBBC, Callable Bull Bear Contract. Um, and you were able to win free you know, gate IO uh, points um, just by partaking in the, the test area, the, the test net area for trading. Um, so like one of one of the, the biggest things changes you'll see at the moment is that we're using Cloudflare. There was a DDoS attack on the 5th, uh, which was on Saturday. You know, you might have noticed that there was some uh, uh, severe delays in, um, in accessing the site. Uh, so we were trying to figure out, you know, how to divert the traffic because um, someone was sending a lot of traffic to DDoS unsuccessfully attempted to, you know, um, take down uh, the website. Obviously, there was a delay and some users were affected. So sorry for any convenience about that, guys. Um, it shouldn't happen again in the sense that we're using Cloudflare. We've taken a lot of other measures to, you know, make sure that it's not as easy to um, uh, flood our, ourselves with traffic. So um, that was uh, solved really quickly. And um, the attackers, you know, traffic flow was was halted abruptly. But it was a good learning situation from that, uh, from from uh, what occurred. And we're going to make sure that. Uh, um, but again, um, let's see. BTC is nineteen thousand two hundred dollars at the moment. It's going a little bit up, a little bit down. You know, the weekend obviously allows for a little bit of a dip, um, for some reason because general all markets they close. Uh, and people, people, maybe it's because people who are in all these general markets either don't realize that, that the BTC market goes on. There's just less activity too. People return to their wives and, and families and um, they, they don't spend too much time in the crypto market. They don't have time. It's good to zone out, right? So that's most likely a reason that the price dipped. I think the last weekend before or the one before that was interesting because you would see, you would see a definite uh, uh, like bullish move, uh, bullish uptrend in the weekend, which is really cool because it means there's a lot of activity, a lot of people buying huge amounts of certain coins and cryptos. Um, so yeah, not much happening at the moment. Soon it's going to be Christmas. We're going to be doing some really cool, uh, organizing some really cool stuff, which I'm excited about. Uh, we'll announce that soon. Um, and we're, you know, we're going to have loads of giveaways as well. That's a great time to spend with your family. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, on a very general note. Don't have much to announce this this week, guys. There's not much uh, going on, and not much to discuss in the crypto market. So uh, you know, it's better not to uh, waste too much time philosoph philosophizing on, uh, uh, um, on random topics. Hope everyone has a great week, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.